सो हेलो गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एक्सियल डिफॉर्मेशन इन ए प्रिज्मेटिक बार राइट सो व्हाट इज प्रिज्मेटिक इफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन इन द मेंबर इज गोइंग टू बी सेम अलोंग इट्स एक्सिस देन इट इज कॉल्ड प्रिज्मेटिक सपोज दिस इज वन मेंबर इट्स क्रॉस सेक्शन इज सपोज दिस दिस इज अ मेंबर इट्स क्रॉस सेक्शन इज कांस्टेंट अलोंग इट्स एक्सिस राइट सो दिस इज प्रिज्मेटिक एंड in this bottle you can see that cross section is going to vary along this axis so it is not prismatic okay so this is a prismatic bar as you can see here and one end of this bar is fixed in some kind of wall right so i am applying one axial load along its axis of the bar right so you can see if i apply some kind of load in a member if i apply some kind of load in a member there must be some kind of elongation in the member right so it might be not visible as it is going to be very 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 small right but there must be some kind of elongation until and unless it is rigid right so in this member i am applying one load p in the direction of its along its axis right and a is the cross section of this member when where i am applying this load and suppose l is its initial length of the bar l is is your initial length of the bar and delta l is the elongation due to application of this load p along its axis and what is e e is the young's modulus of the member right now our aim is to find the formula for axial deformation of this bar due to application of this load p right now using hooke's law we can write stress is proportional to strain sigma is your stress and e is your strain and if we equate this equation sigma will be equal to e if we multiply one constant that is nothing but your young's modulus so sigma is equal to capital e and small e right what is sigma it is nothing but your stress force per unit area as we are applying one load p upon this initial area a so p upon a will be your sigma and e is constant and what is strain it is nothing but your linear strain that is axial deformation delta l upon its initial length that is capital l now if we cross multiply then axial deformation delta l will be pl upon ae right so as p by a is nothing but your sigma so delta l will be sigma l upon e so it is the important formula to find out the initial deformation in a prismatic bar due to application of a load in its axial direction so i hope you understand this formula thank you